powered by Dubverse. The Friday decision from Judge Arthur Engeron orders Trump and his flagship organization to pay the bulk of that amount, almost $355 million. Trump's two sons and co-defendants, Eric Trump and Donald Trump Jr., are each liable for $4 million. Alan Weisselberg, a former Trump Organization executive, is liable for $1 million. The total is even higher with interest, more than $450 million overall, according to the Attorney General's office. Their complete lack of contrition and remorse borders on pathological. They are accused only of inflating asset values to make more money. The documents prove this over and over again. This is a venial sin, not a mortal sin, Engeron wrote in the court filing. Yet, defendants are incapable of admitting the error of their ways. Trump himself called the decision a complete and total sham in an emailed statement and repeated his accusation that the justice system overall is politically biased against him. James, however, declared that justice has been served. This is a tremendous victory for this state, this nation, and for everyone who believes that we all must play by the same rules, even former presidents, the state attorney general said in a statement. The judge also decided to limit Trump and his co-defendants ability to do business in the Empire State. Trump and his companies are prohibited from serving as an officer or director of any New York business or applying for loans for three years. His sons are limited from similar leadership roles for two years. Jeffrey McConney, ex-controller of the Trump Organization and also a defendant, was not ordered to pay any amount, but he and Weisselberg are permanently barred from serving in the financial control function of any New York corporation or similar business entity registered or licensed in New York State. This court is not constituted to judge morality, it is constituted to find facts and apply the law. In this particular case, in applying the law to the facts, the court intends to protect the integrity of the financial marketplace and, thus, the public as a whole," Engeron wrote. Powered by Dubverse. He is facing a combined 91 state and federal charges, including several related to his role to stay in office after he lost the 2020 presidential election to Joe Biden. But the charges have done little to dent Trump's popularity among his base. Instead, the charges appear to have bolstered his credentials, potentially setting up a rematch with Biden. Trump and his two older sons are accused of knowingly committing fraud by submitting financial statements that inflated the value of their properties and other assets. The lawsuit alleges that from 2011 to 2021, Donald Trump and his organization created more than 200 false valuations to inflate his net worth by billions of dollars with the goal of getting better business, insurance, and banking deals. Engeron had already determined that there was fraud and that the former president, his sons and other executives were liable. Throughout the trial, legal teams argued whether the value of notable Trump properties, such as Manhattan's Trump Tower and 40, Wall Street, were inflated deliberately. Documents shown during trial ranged from spreadsheets to signed financial statements. In one example, the attorney general's legal team showed that Trump's triplex in his eponymously named Manhattan building was marked as being almost 11,000 square feet in 1994 and later as 30,000 square feet. A Forbes magazine article in 2017 originally shed light on the discrepancy. The former president and three of his children, Donald Jr., Eric and Ivanka, who is not a defendant, all took the stand to testify about the valuation process and their involvement in the Trump Organization. Testifying in November, Trump argued that the estimated property values were actually conservative, and he said that he relied on others to compile the statements. His sons also testified that they relied on others, including their accounting firm, to come up with the numbers even as emails and documents showed the Trumps ultimately approved them. Powered by Dubverse